All right, all right, and thanks for stopping by. You are not going to believe what happened the other day. So I get up in the morning and I'm making coffee and I glance out the window and there's this guy standing here in my campsite, just like 20 feet from the van. And he's just looking in the window at me and I'm looking out at him and I'm thinking at first, you know, does he need something? Does he want to talk to me? So I just watch him for a minute. He goes over to the fire ring and starts taking the wood out of the fire ring. And I thought, what is going on here? You see, when I found this site, it had wood in the fire ring. That's what campers do for one another. If they have wood they're not going to use, they leave it for the next guy. So uh, I was going to make a fire that night. And because I had some cardboard I needed to burn and some mail that I needed to burn anyway. Well, I'm watching the guy and he starts gathering it up. It was only like three or four pieces. And he turns and starts walking back to that class A back there in the back. That's where he came from. And I get out of the van. And I said, well, wait a minute. What the hell do you think you're doing? And he turns and looked at me just shocked. He said, I I'm gathering firewood. I said, no, no, no. You're gathering my firewood. And this guy said, well, it's been sitting over here for a couple of days and you hadn't used it. And I said, does that make it right? What kind of logic is that? I said, your generator's been sitting over there for a couple of days. Does that mean I can just go pick it up? And he had no answer for that. He just stood there shocked, you know. And I said, no, turn around, bring my wood back. I said, you know, if you would have came over and asked for it, I would have gave it to you, you know, because my fire that I was going to have was not going to be a big deal. It was, I really just wanted to burn my mail and my cardboard. So he comes back and he puts the wood back in the ring and I've since burned it up since then. And um, that made me think. So this guy's been sitting over there eyeballing my campsite, you know, and that just creeps me out right there on its own. And also the other night when I made my fire, uh, him and a couple of other people that are camping with him, they just sat right out on the edge of their RV, turned their chairs toward me and watched me burn the fire. So I'm making this video to let you know there are some really crazy, insane, self-absorbed people out there who do not have any courtesy in their bones. I mean, what kind of person does that? It's just shocking to me. It's just like the summit of narcissism. I really can't remember how it uh, happened after that. I know he put the wood back down and he walked away. And after that, I really can't remember. I was just shocked. I mean, what would possess someone to think that it's okay to do that? I would never in my wildest dreams think about walking over to somebody's campsite and just taking their wood right in front of them and walking off. I mean, this is apparently a crazy person. So it made me think, you know, all this land we have out here and just living the good life and people look for trouble, you know, only someone looking for trouble would actually do that. Or maybe he was just that oblivious to common courtesy. It's just unbelievable. I have zero tolerance for people with no courtesy and that are just rude like that. There's been several times when I had wood left over, I just left it in the fire ring for the next person. And there's been several times when I pull up to a campsite, there was wood left for me also. And you know, that is just uh, a good feeling that you know there's good people out there. And try to turn, let me try to turn this to a positive. One thing I've noticed about the BLM land in the courtside area, is 99% of the people are very good about picking up their trash. Very seldom have I pulled up to a campsite that had trash, uh, like little pieces of paper or plastic or something like that around it. Unlike when I was camping around the Flagstaff area, I was coming up to one trashed campsite after the next. So I am happy to see that it's clean out here. All right, my friends, so look out out there. You never know who you'll run into. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.